All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back. Let us do this last uh, resistance mission, because I, I did a lot of it last night because I was so fucking excited. It, nothing serious. There's no real story to it. How can I help? Show me what is available. So it begins. Good luck, everyone. Okay. By Paris? Oh, oh, literally down there. Apparently that, that package we picked up from a smuggler, it uh it also has something to do in Paris, so we'll go down there as well and fix that up. I'm surprised though, we haven't had too much interaction with the Norse here. Oh, come on now. Bragi! I wonder why my crew is off the ship. Get whatever this is. Oh, it's in slow motion. That makes a lot more sense. All right, All right max level infamy. Viva la resistance! We're gonna head back to camp. You know what, my raiders can take care of it. We'll turn this in, see what reward we get, and then we'll uh, head off to Paris. The slums, anyway. Alright, Pierre. Tell me what you got for me, buddy. I'm sure we can probably keep doing them, because a lot of the rewards require the like the little currency that it gives. Oh wait, that's a mission? Here. It's Eva! Come join us! This is strange. Magnifique! If you want to do more, I'll be here. Okay. Is this a celebration? In a way, a break for all our hard work. Come, drink with us. Okay. When I feel like something bad's gonna happen, 
I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> The place is starting to look more like an alehouse than a ripple hideout. We call them taverns here, Evor. Careful. Too much wine and a man's heart is laid open for all to see. Good people. I do not make long, flowery speeches. <laughs> what I want to say amounts to but a few words. We have arrived! A toast to us and to Eivor! You have become softer than the cheese you love. I did not have any hope for this movement when we started. Or rather, I did not want to have any. A small group of armed peasants against what? An army of trained soldiers. But now... It is not through numbers that victory is gained. But in the hope and courage of those who fight. Bah, hope is an ugly word. But, oh dear, they made me feel. For friends last longest, if fate be fair, who give and give again. A verse from the Havamal, words of wisdom we follow. Poetic, for a collection of bloodthirsting raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was just cute. That was nice. Okay. Speak to the smuggler's contact. Wait, where? The docks north of Paris? No, that's that. Guess we can do that later, I guess. Um Is this closest I guess? Yeah, I guess it can be. <laughs> we'll uh figure it out. Really sucks when like every muscle just starts tightening up and you gotta stretch out and move. Okay. <laughs> Come on, boy. We ride to war once again. Siegfried's camp. The only question is how the hell do I get in? Oh my god, go down. Thank you. Jesus. Can I, there we go, I got it. Take it for camp chest key. Getting some lag.
So how do I how do I get to this chest? Sit down. There we go. That works. That's not what required a key, is it? I guess so. I just bungled that all the way up, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, Toke. Or Toka. Longships on the shore, as beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True, this is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before, bled, killed. Yes, but there are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling, playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield, though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We are here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Otto leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. The High One says... It is better to live than to die, but the dead till no fields. You quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost Thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. Okay. It was trying the best to uh, avoid a slaughter, which works. Let's see, where is he? Where is it exactly? ship right at the dock actually hey! through the waves we must row right, in these boys waters. let's have a song 
Drop the mask! Let's see, am I I'm heading the correct way? Yes, I am. So I just need to make a U-turn, basically. Here's the mast. Can't raise the sail yet. This wind would fill the sail. Run up the Let's take out these bandits first. Good sailing wind here, It's been a minute since we had a good raid. Just a group of peasants that we can knock around. Oh, they take you. Get away from me. Really? I can't believe he's still alive. Which basically amounted to just kicking them around and having some fun. Hold on a moment. Alright, back to the ship. here and ride on. We can use the sail here, Abel. Although I don't think that's a duck. I think we just we just blocked off a crossing. There's a key. Take heart, come on, lad. Count Odo shall lead us to victory. The lost men have not won yet. <clears throat>
Surprised he was still on fire in the water like that. Stay strong. We have this. Time. Oh, maybe there is. Maybe there is. I spoke a little bit. Really? Coward. Shoot to the end. More frank is You know, it's funny, I thought we'd actually be getting more uh, one-handed swords than scythes. <laughs> Alright, so where is that? By Paris. They just don't seem to care. <laughs> Lovely wolves. Yeah. 
This seems to be it. I think I may have found it already. My wife, why does God torment me? Why? Easy, me lord. All right, I you think we actually uh, no, I made it in. Norsemen drink the blood of saints. Reveal to Prophet John, everyone, into the wine cellar. Hold, pardon me, my lady, but I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady, I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heathen hordes. I see. And are you one of our Phrygian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes. I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble writs to meet with Odo. One oh, of we'll the just... guests might have one. Hey, what is happening? Our newest guest has gone mad. He's hiding. Greetings, friends. What is the trouble? One of Odo's guests has got filthy drunk and locked himself in the wine cellar. Shameful. Was he invited here to help defend Paris? Perhaps, but what sort of help can such a lout provide? I am dubious, I tell you. That drunken noble might have one of those reds I need to meet well. with Odo. One of our nobles cowering like a stable hen. We can check it out in a moment. What's Someone? this? Oh, help me bash down this door. Oh, one of our guests has locked himself in the wine cellar. Wait, no, there we go. Oh, Lord Clovis, you have drunk yourself to sleep after making a frightful scene. Please, show me a kindness and help. Alright, where do you want me to Nothing take him? Nothing to fear. I will carry Lord Clovis outside for some fresh air. This trunk has a paper in his pocket. Looks like the red I need to meet Sounds with good. Count Odo. Nesting sense gamble in the face I vid him. Alright, I've got the writ, now can I see him? I have returned with the writ, permitting me to speak to Count Odo. Excellent. You may enter. And we do appreciate your efforts on our behalf. Okay. I need to find Count Odo. Oh, study. And my bed is it's locked. Not 
getting in this way. You see, dear Lothar, Odo has trusted me and me alone with the key to his study. How did such an outrage come Because, to dear Lothar, I gift him with rare vintages, whole casks from as far away as Greece. Ah. Servant, bring more wine. I shall see to our wine, dear Lothar. Farewell. There we are. <gasps> Wait, did somebody see me do that? What's up, Mayor Sidrid? Right upstairs. And with Count Odo leading us, we shall drive these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal. Not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce and the king is... slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath, before God, to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosle. Kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Eva, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Francia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off for silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We're not a part of your kingdom. <laughs> And I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Juan Amien were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. As uncompromising as ever. Tell the others what Odo said. Well, back we go to the camp. We have no choice but to sack Paris. Am I disappointed about that? No. <laughs> but um. Am I am I pleased with the implications of a siege on a city as such? Also, no. But when you try everything and they leave you no choice, you gotta do what you gotta do.
What is this? Oh, that's a dog. <laughs> it looked real weird for a second. Siegfried? Ah, you arrive in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. A fierce wind can snap a tree, even one as strong as Odo. Is Charles the wind, or will he break like a reed? Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toga. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover. Just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to this smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason, but Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking. We should speak to the Fat King. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toka's right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker, it matters not, but soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word once given is never broken. I will fight at your side, Siegfried. Never doubt. Enough! Friends, uncle, we are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox. A tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thing. Someday she might stand in front of an army like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> uh... What do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. I need to lay the groundwork for the siege. But what to do first? This might get incredibly complicated. And incredibly... Eivor must lay the groundwork for the Siege of Paris. Oh my god! Mm. <laughs> but this might get incredibly complicated and incredibly messy very quickly. I can already tell that some of the Norse here don't like me very much, and that's, that's fine. 
they might die in the siege, they might not. We've also seen some broken parts of the inner city's walls, so we'll see. But I think so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time, probably with Sieging Paris. <laughs>